Hello everybody and welcome. So I stumbled into another Pegasus front end theme that I wanted to share with you guys. I think it's uh, another sharp looking one. Uh, the developers that make these themes have been pumping them out left and right lately. Um, I, I can't even keep up with the, the ones that I like. So I've decided to showcase this one for you guys as well. Uh, real quick, if you don't know what Pegasus is, it's basically just a front end or a graphical user interface to showcase all of your uh, video games in, in one place. You've probably heard of Hyperspin or Launchbox. It's another one of those. It's one of the, the competitors. Um, what makes um, Pegasus so attractive to me anyway is that um, it appears to be the most highly developed application for the Android operating system. I don't think that uh, anything else comes close on the Android right now. Um, but instead of beating a dead horse, because I tell you guys that all of the time, I'll let you take a look at this beautiful theme. It's called Minimus, and it was created by a user with the handle name Smalltalk. Right off the bat, you're brought into a home screen where you have recently played and favorite rows. Um, each game that you hover over shows a uh, video snap preview as well as clear art up top, which is really big and pretty. I've never uh, never seen it like that before. It looks really nice. Uh, another thing I noticed is that um, it manages to take all of the different style of box art, like a thinner PSP or a wider N64 box art, and they have them all flowing in a row where it, it just works because the uh, height uh, is the same for each one. Um, so yeah, it's, that's really cool. I've never seen that before. Um, now when you scroll down, you'll be brought to your library for each system selected. Uh, here I'm in the N64 selection. Um, you can go right up to the top of the screen here, and you're quickly brought to a dropdown of all of your available systems. And you could access them pretty quickly this way. Uh, you could break the games down by favorite and also by title, developer, publisher, and more. When going down to the main library of N64, um, once again, video snaps will play when you hover over the box art. And um, right now we have five uh, games per row on the, uh, on the, the home screen here. And... Um, it gives you a lot of real estate, so you can see a lot, a lot more of the games at once. And uh, they have an alphabet scroller to the right-hand side here that lets you toggle from letter to letter uh, pretty quickly as well. So if you're trying to get to a game quickly, um, you could definitely do it with this theme um, right through the interface rather than searching for a game. Um, which is a problem that I, that I um, have noticed on some other themes. Um, everything moves pretty quickly as it should. Um, and I want you to keep in mind that I'm on an Android operating system right now. So what you're seeing here, you could pretty much put together on a mid-range phone if you really wanted to. Um, when we switch to, let's say, Sega CD here and go back down to our library, um, the um, box art as obviously uh, the dimensions have changed and in return that makes the uh, the videos play a little differently as well um, I love it really nice um, when you load into the uh, game screen itself you are given a clear art as well as uh, ability to add the game to your favorites or bookmark and that's it if I could say there was one thing I would like the developer to work on further with this theme it would be the ability to display a uh, bigger video snap in, that, in the game selection screen there. Um, and perhaps some, um, some of the description text for the game itself. Um, that's probably the only thing this, this theme needs. Um, when you go into the settings, you have some things you can customize. Number one is your initial layout, where you have rows for your, your favorites um, or bookmarked games. Um, or, or recently played, or even random. And it looks like you could set four or five rows if you want to. And then you come down to the library section where you could select the number of columns um, shown in each of the um, 
library systems. Like if we change this to seven and go back to our um, to our library selection, we're going to see a lot more of the uh, covers here. Um, but at the same time, it makes the video snaps a little smaller as well. So I don't really prefer this myself. I'd much rather have the bigger um, the bigger uh, box art because it then displays a larger video as well. But I guess that's all a personal preference. Uh, changing this from seven to three uh, has the opposite effect. You know, it will create much larger uh, box art and larger video snaps as well. Uh, the only problem with this is that you are doing more scrolling. Um, but if you don't have a massive game collection, it's probably not a bad idea either. Um, it's really personal preference. I like to keep mine set at five or so. There are a few other settings you can play around with. Uh, one of them lets you display the uh, clear art logo, as you can see right here, um, over the video snap. Personal preference, that's up to you. Uh, there really is not a heck of a lot to do in the uh, settings menu. Uh, you can change some of the aspect uh, ratios on the files. You could play around to turn other settings like fading on and off if you have a uh, weaker system. I'm on a mid-range Android operating system and it handles everything fine. So it looks like you can preload some of the uh, logos and artwork by putting them in your cache. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, all in all, I would say this is an amazing theme. Um, considering what you're looking at is running on a mid-range Android operating system, uh, blows me out of the water completely. Uh, I definitely give it a 10 out of 10. In my uh, top 10 themes on the Pegasus, this is probably, right now it's probably my top two or three. These theme developers keep on publishing these new themes and I like playing around with them. So as I find interesting ones, I will make sure to share them with you. Um, you can go ahead and download this theme on the Pegasus front end website. Um, I'll post a link in the description of the uh, video for you if you need help finding it. And um, in that link, you'll be able to find the other themes that are available as well. There are a lot of really nice ones to choose from. Um, they don't take up a lot of space, so feel free to try them all. Alrighty, thank you very much for watching my video, and have a good day. Thank you.